There is a heated debate in Pine Bluff and voters are going to get the chance to make their voice heard. Early voting kicks off tomorrow on whether or not to continue a capital improvement tax. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Faith Woodard and I'm Craig O'Neill. But before you vote, those for and against want you to know what's at stake for the community. And THP 11's Ashley Godwin tells us what we need to know. And the conditions dictate that we need this funding, we need these initiatives, and we don't have time to wait. In 2017, the people of Pine Bluff passed a 5 8 cent sales tax to improve education and economic development. That tax will sunset soon, and it's once again on the ballot for voters to decide if it should continue. Voters will also decide whether or not to pass a new 3 8 cent sales tax for public safety. We have so much work in Pine Bluff that has to be done, and it's going to cost a lot of money. The NAACP Pine Bluff chapter opposes the tax. The president saying it does not meet the priorities of the city. We have some issues in our community. Uh, our community need a new school. Instead, the president says the city should be putting money towards the Pine Bluff school millage. To put this tax before our children, the NAACP had to speak out. Early voting begins Tuesday at the Jefferson County Courthouse until next Monday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Election day will be May 9th at your polling location from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Early voting also begins for those who live in Jacksonville. There are no changes to the school millage and there are no candidates running, but because of Arkansas law, an election must be held.